The Great War is here. John Bradley reveals how Game of Thrones' crappiest scene was filmed. Samuel was unwell in the Game of Thrones season 7 premiere that is, before he made an important realization or two. Now John Bradley is walking us through those stomach-turning Citadel scenes and how they were filmed. Fair warning, the rest of this article veers toward the scatological end. Samuel Tarly was duly dazzled when he arrived at the Citadel in the season 6 finale. He gazed upon the massive library, certain that game-changing and humanity-saving knowledge was contained therein, and feeling like he truly had a purpose. So imagine the character's dismay when he's assigned to kitchen and latrine duty. Forced to clean out bedpans and to serve brown soup in bowls that look suspiciously like those bedpans. Editorial note, this is where we wretched. For actor John Bradley, that one montage took a full work week to film. It was shot over a period of about five full days, he tells The Hollywood Reporter. We're talking about 50 or 60 hours of shooting all of that. It was quite an experience, really. John says he had never been alone on camera before in his career, and he had to work closely with the director to get each specific shot. I had no vision of what it might look like, no expectations of what it might look like, he says. When I saw it at the screening, in Los Angeles, that was the first time I had seen it. It was kind of extraordinary, the fact that they could take these tiny fragments and build it into a narrative. Luckily for this actor, all that nastiness was more prop than poop. We didn't use real human waste. It was one step down on the unpleasantness scale, he says. We used a wet fruit cake, for all of the. I don't know, how, you say it politely. Laughs, that was wet fruit cake. It smelled fine, but shooting under lights for 13 hours or so, it can get a little nasty. I was reminded last night that while I was shooting that scene, everybody else on the cast was at the Emmys. Hold up. While the other Game of Thrones stars were getting glammed up for the 2016 Emmys, John was elbow deep in fake excrement. Everybody said, the cast has to go to the Emmys for a week. Which is the story that can take care of itself. So I was left completely alone scrubbing toilets for a week while they were on the red carpet, John says. It's hard enough to take as it is. But then watching my friends and colleagues having fun out there? He laughs. It's a lot worse. John is a good sport about that shitty deal, though. It was a memorable moment, and I knew it would be a memorable moment, he says. We've never done a montage like that before. I knew people would be talking about it and I knew it would have an impact, but I didn't know how much. It was nice to kind of have such a set piece in episode 1. It was a real treat. And gross as it might be, the scene wasn't just potty humor. It absolutely serves a real dramatic point. You're instantly seeing just how frustrated and disincentivized and disillusioned Sam is with the Citadel, John says. When he arrived in the Citadel at the end of last season, he was so happy to be there. He was feeling accepted for the first time. He was so happy he could fight the same battle as Jon Snow, but fight from his own environment. And then they put him in that cloth and set him to work on the bedpans. 
Furthermore, John says the scrappy twist of fate will propel Sam's storyline throughout the first half of season 7. He wants to be a proactive character and he wants to fight the same battle as Jon Snow, the actor explains. He wants to bring his own skills to it. And he knows time is of the essence. He knows the threat might be on the wall already. He knows the army of the dead is coming. And he knows he needs to find key information. He knows that his time is being wasted. That frustration, to see that so instantly in the season and see that he is frustrated and that he's been sent there to do a job he's not allowed to do. That's important, John elaborates. It's a great moment of character development that's disguised in a bit of fun. It's not a waste of screen time. It's important to establish how Sam feels in the opening episode and moving forward regarding the Citadel. Game of Thrones Season 7 airs on Sundays at 9pm ET on HBO.